Hi, I'm Denise Durkis, Chair of Los Alamos County Council. I'd like to briefly recap Tuesday night's council meeting. Um, the first thing we did was we issued a, a proclamation declaring Valles Caldera, Caldera Day on December 19th in recognition of the 10th anniversary of the National Park Service management of um, the National Preserve. Uh, we also received an annual briefing from Lori Padilla, the chair of the Los Alamos County Health Council, and we appointed three members to the Lodgers Tax Advisory Board. Um, we reviewed and approved the council's 2025 strategic leadership uh, plan, um, which forms the basis for the work plans for county boards and commissions, and importantly, um, the establishes the guidance for the FY 2026 budget development process. Um, we approved a memorandum of agreement with the city of Española and Rio Arriba County for a regional landfill study in anticipation of the closure of the Sandoval County landfill in the next few years. A landfill in a neighboring county would help reduce disposal costs and also reduce our carbon uh, footprint because of the reduced transportation uh, costs and, and distance. Um, we approved a new service contract with Santa Fe Housing Trust to implement and manage a comprehensive suite of affordable home buyer and home rehabilitation programs and services under the county's affordable housing code. And this contract will replace uh, the one with the former Los Alamos um, housing partnership, which has, has been dissolved. And the most contentious topic of the evening, we continued discussion from the November 19th meeting on the purchase of three properties on Diamond Drive, which, considered, uh, which garnered considerable community engagement. Uh, the county's proposal was to use the properties across from the high school to build a long needed social services hub um, to potentially collaborate with UNMLA and um, the Los Alamos Public Schools and to engage the public in other ideas for housing, small retail, restaurants, and other development opportunities. Um, the negotiated price for the three properties was $9.85 million, considerably higher than the assessed value of $5.6 million, plus an additional $1 million in estimated sudden costs for hazardous materials abatement, underground fuel tank storage removal, building demolition, and other site improvements. While some members of the community acknowledged the need for a ser social services hub and supported the property purchase, most um, opposed it, particularly those in the local business community. And ultimately, council voted five to two to oppose the purchase. It's important to note that public claims that the property purchase violated state law were refuted by County Attorney Alvin Leapart at the council meeting referencing a 2022 memo from the New Mexico Finance Authority, uh, Lee Park declared that there's a well-settled law that negotiating contracts like this are exempt from the anti-donation clause. And Mr. Lee Park further clarified that the New Mexico Board of Finance rules as set forth in the administrative code does not apply to Los Alamos County which is a home rule incorporated county, and as such is considered a municipality, municipality under the code. And he emphatically stated that the claim that the county is violating the code is simply demonstrably false. So looking forward to the upcoming agenda items at our last meeting of the year on December 17th, council will hear a presentation on the final comprehensive plan comprehensive health plan rather, and an update on the East Downtown um, Metropolitan Redevelopment Area Plan, and an update on the Wildlife Education Plan and consideration of a possible ordinance in the future. And then in closing, I'll say this will be my last report as my term on council end this year. 
It's been an honor serving the people of the county these past four years and working with the dedicated employees of Los Alamos County. And that's all I have for today. Thank you very much.